Today you're going to learn a really cool method that allows you to transfer your project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve and even if you wanted to you can go right back to Premiere Pro and I'm certain that this works with Final Cut, Avid and maybe even other editing software. <laughs> What's good buddy, welcome back to the Quick Tip Tuesdays with me, Camilo Castaneda. As some of you may know, I'm working on a video where I switched to DaVinci Resolve for 30 days as a Premiere Pro user. It's actually taken me way longer than I think, but when it's out, it'll be up here. But during this whole process, I discovered a really cool method that allows you to transfer your projects from Premiere Pro to DaVinci. Say you want to only do some color grading in DaVinci, but do your main edits in Premiere Pro, and from DaVinci go back, you can definitely do that, and I'm gonna show you how. So as you can see here, I have a timeline on Premiere Pro of a recent project that I've been working on, which is called Reclaim the Threads. I would advise if you're gonna use this method of transferring to DaVinci and then back, that you don't actually apply any effects or any essential graphics because if you apply effects that have nested sequences, you have to then source them. And also if you do the texts, DaVinci can't actually reproduce them. So it's just gonna say that there's files missing. I'll do it anyway so you guys can see. But once we have everything selected, we wanna go up to File, Export, and Final Cut Pro XML. I know it says Final Cut Pro, but this works for DaVinci, trust me. Then you're going to select a location, give it a name, and then this is gonna come up. It says Translation Report. Just click OK, and then Launch DaVinci Resolve. Once you've launched DaVinci Resolve, just make a new project, give it the name. And before you do anything, it's very important that you go to project settings at the bottom right and you change the timeline format to be the same as the one you're about to import. So in my case is 25 frames per second. Then you want to go to File, Import Timeline, Import XML. Select the XML. Click OK. And as you can see, it says two of two clips are not found here and those are my text my essential graphics. Even though I muted them, they still come up, as you can see here. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly delete them from there because I can put them back in Premiere. Okay, so you can see my entire timeline is here. It's got the markers, it's got the music, it's got the speed ramps and all the cuts. So I'm going to now do some quick color grading. Nothing too crazy, just for the tutorial. Okay, so I've done a very quick color grade just for the sake of this video, but if we now go to the Deliver tab, at the top you have a few different presets. You have Final Cut Pro Severed, you have Avid, Pro Tools, and you also have Premiere XML. So you wanna click Premiere XML and then choose a location. And then you just keep everything to QuickTime uncompressed, and then you add it to Render Queue, and then you start the render. So now that this is rendered, you wanna go back to Premiere Pro, Go to your sequences folder. I would advise actually making a folder called DaVinci to Premiere or something because it kind of just dumps everything there. But basically you want to import that brand new XML file. It usually has a bunch of numbers after it. And you want to find the sequence. And when you double click it, you can see that this is the color graded sequence. It has the same cuts, it's timed with the music. It's got my speed ramp in there. And yeah, so all you have to do now is align it with your titles, add your effects, change everything you want to change. And uh, yeah, you just did a round trip from Premiere to DaVinci and back. How crazy. This will come in useful if you've ever wanted to switch from Premiere to DaVinci and you don't want to just start a brand new project, you have something that you're working on. It's very easy to do that or vice versa, go from DaVinci back to Premiere. And it should apply to Final Cut Pro 7 and Avid as you saw in the Deliver tabs in DaVinci Resolve. But that's pretty much it for today's Quick Tip Choosers. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I'm still learning DaVinci Resolve, but leave them down in the comments below. And if you're interested in filmmaking tips, tutorials, editing tutorials, then uh, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in the next video.